اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وَإِذَا كِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْدِ وَإِذَا كِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْدِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْلِحُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَا كِلَّا يَشْعُرُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَا كِلَّا يَشْعُرُونَ Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we are just going to learn two ayat of Surah Bakra. Ayat number 11 and ayat number 12. So these are two ayat are also about munafikin, the hypocrites. And those people, because their hearts are not uh, good, because the ill heart, disease in that so their hearts are with disease so therefore those people they are not to sit like a nice muslim they are not peaceful they are try they try to disturb the society hypocrite is the person who always try to disturb the society is not living or sitting peaceful try to make the situation which is corrupt or disturb or something like this so this way allah said about them wa is a lahum so when those people who are disturbing when uh, it is said to them the munafikin to them when it is said wa and Wa iza kila lahum wa and iza when kila said lahum to them when it is said to them la no tufsidu don't disturb la tufsidu don't produce disturbance don't make the situation corrupt or don't make the situation like imbalance fill ardi on the surface of earth kalu so they say innama nahano no no doubt but we are muslihun reformers they say we are reformers we are making the things correct because things were before they were at wrong place we are trying to make them at correct place to bring them back to the original position they say like this Allah here Allah is warning them and warning to us also that be careful from those people because those munafikin the people who are disturbing Allah is making us warning us that be careful from them Allah said Allah be careful. Be aware. Innahum, no doubt. Hum, those people themselves, humul mufsiduna, they are themselves the people who produce disturbance, who produce corruption. Wala killa and but. La yashurun, they have no sense. They have no, they don't realize it, that what they are doing, they think that is right. That was their right. They feel it is right and they were just to do that and they said it is good for them. But actually they feel it is good for them. But in a real sense, what they are doing, that is the real facade. 
and the real disturbance on the surface of earth and allah said in holy quran many places wallahu la yuhibbul fasad and allah don't like fasad the disturbance the corruption don't like it allah wants everything at proper place and peaceful and nice on the surface of earth this way the islamic sharia is just to tell everything to make at its real place so if it is not at real place then automatically situation will be disturbed so disturbing situation will make problems like you can see so many people like in the muslim communities throughout the world they are working like a spy they get a uh, knowledge of the islamic society within the society and the weak points of that one they try to carry and make reports and send that one to the non muslims who are now controlling throughout the world making disturbance and delivering money and muslims they are selling their iman and and uh, a, they are good amal so just for money and uh, just for status and something like this and they are trying to make disturbance and killing within the countries within the areas so this is happening because the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was leaving this world at the end he said i am i'm afraid that my umma will not go into shirk but they will have a love of the worldly things so that way they can there is possibility they will uh, sell their iman just for worldly things and this is happening now so the main thing is that we have to look what people are those one who disturb you can see in many countries muslim countries many politicians they are the munafiqin also how they are munafiqin because they don't know islam they don't know even uh, the shahada and even they don't know the whole quran they must know the first of all if a person is just to tell anything about islam must know the whole quran with meaning translation explanation and also with respect to sunnah like reading quran without sunnah without prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam life because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam life is the real explanation of quran if we are reading quran with the love of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then is possibility that we can say something but many people who are working in different countries they are politician they have no any idea about quran just only little bit they know uh, something about salah or some other things but they don't have idea about the whole quran they have never read the whole quran and whole islam like complete and then they say if you look them they can say a lot of things lot of words about islam and they are in other sense they are munafiqin they are hypocrites why because they are saying something to allah when they express something about islam or about uh, uh, quran or islam or iman so actually they are trying to tell with reference to quran and sunnah because that is not their own wording when someone is saying it is because if a person who is working as a leader that leader is the representative of the society people so he must know everything if that person don't know and saying something with respect to sharia it is making lying towards allah a kazab so these kazab allah said yuks yaksibun the first munafiqin the first sign of the munafiqin is lying and lanatullah ala al kazibin and a person who is just saying anything about islam without knowing it and he is trying to making a blame towards allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to sharia and automatically that person is not real muslim inside a heart is not muslim ill heart and we can say is munafik or the hypocrite <coughs> so this way there is need to learn islam completely understand islam completely and then apply it so if you go back to uh, islamic sharia so iman will complete when you will learn islam when 
you make a confirmation by tongue then certifying by heart and then applying that one on the every movement of the body parts then iman becomes complete with nek with good deeds now we can see this a person who is the leader of the country of muslim country what is the duties or responsibilities of that person according to real islam that person first of all because that person is muslim and the country as a whole majority is the muslim so then there is need to confirm confirmation certification of islam to apply it to the people like make the rules regulation of the country islamic if that person is not making it is munafik is hypocrite automatically uh, is uh, that person at the day of judgment when he will be before allah then allah will ask and that person be answerable there so this way is a uh, facade is everywhere now and uh, some other people who made like uh, different type of groups and uh, you can say uh, like uh, some scholars they made their own sect and then divided islam into different parts so um, allah said you know these people when they do this one the islamic uh, uh, unity will finish automatically in the proudness of islam the momentum of islam will shatter down and automatically uh, their uh, power will disappear and that is happening now so we can see in quran <coughs> with reference to this in surah anam allah said surah anam ayat number 159 allah said in the lazina farraku no doubt those people who divide uh, dinahum who divide the religion in the lazina farraku dinahum those people who divide the, their religion wakanu shayan and break up into sect lasta min hum fi shay'in you don't make have you don't have any relationship with them leave them alone don't have a relation with them in anything innama amruhum ila allah leave their amr what the deed they are doing leave that one towards allah summa yunabbihum and then allah will tell them at the day of judgment bima kanu yaf'alun what they were doing so it mean what they are doing because automatically we understand they are doing wrong and we have to leave uh, that thing towards allah and at the day of judgment allah will tell about that to them because they were the truth will be from allah will be told at the day of judgment to them so this ayat express that if there is any problem within the islamic uh, thoughts so we don't disturb we don't make a dispute we don't make give fatwa to kill someone to do something like disturbance in the on the surface of earth but islam says that you have to leave that one towards allah and at the day of judgment allah will decide allah will tell them and allah will say the truth what they were doing allah will tell about that so people they read quran but after that they make sect and then they say you kill other people they are not muslim because they do bidah they do shirk something like this and different different options they have and then we can go back to read surah anfal ayat number 46 allah said wa ati allaha wa rasulahu and follow be obedient to allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wala tanazau and don't produce dispute fa tafshalu uh, and you will lose heart and you become covered what does haba rihukum and your momentum will disappear wasbiru and do sabr inna allaha ma'as sabirin sabirin and no doubt allah is with the people who have patience sabr so the main thing is that the main thing when someone is disturbing or producing dispute within the society we must have a sabr and we should tell them and leave them because we are not to 
टेक द सोल्ड एंड टू किल नो अलाउड सो इस्लाम इज द पीसफुल रिलीजन सो वी आर नॉट टू किल अदर पर्सन हु इज मेकिंग डिस्टर्बेंस लाइक दिस वे द मेन थिंग इज दैट डिस्टर्बेंस ऑलवेज डिसलाइकड बाई अल्लाह वल्लाबुल फसाद एंड द फसाद इज क्रिएटेड बाई द पीपल हु हैज इलनेस इन दियर हार्ट एंड दोज आर मुनाफिकीन अल्लाह सेव अस फ्राम दोज पीपल आमीन